Mayo stops scheduling out-of-network Medicare Advantage patients in Minnesota. Seniors in United Healthcare plans are among those no longer getting clinic appointments due to capacity concerns. I'll tell you why in a later video why this is concerning that they even put this statement out there. Uh, but let's read on. Uh, the, but the changes also hint a financial dispute. This is from Star Tribune, February 14th, 2022. Uh, the Mayo Clinic is not scheduling appointments for cert seniors in certain members, certain Medicare Advantage health plans. Okay, because their insurer have, haven't negotiated contracts for in-network access to the world-renowned medical center. So I have a video for y'all that I've made to clarify this issue with Mayo Clinic and I've even called the Mayo Clinic uh, um, myself to clarify what uh, you know uh, beneficiaries should do, seniors should do with Medicare Advantage plans. Uh, it's obviously a very simple fix if you're willing to uh, listen to that video. So I'm going to read the rest of this uh, article for you guys. And so I hope it's a value to you and know that I have a solution for you all in the next video to clarify some of the information because this could, can be uh, misleading when you read the very top uh, statement here. And, and then the next statement uh, clearly says uh, for seniors in certain, certain Medicare Advantage health plans. Okay, let's move on here. The clinic... Uh, said it stopped making appointments for these patients this winter to address capacity concerns. Uh, the change also hints at a financial dispute over payments, uh, payment rates between Mayo and United Healthcare, the health insurance giant based in Minot Minnetonka. And in recent years, Mayo Clinic has seen significant uptick in patients coming into Rochester with coverage from non-contract Medicare Advantage health insurers. So much so, in fact, that clinic officials say the increase threatens to crowd out patients covered by in-network insurers. So obviously uh, they're having a little bit of a concern with this uh, uptick. There was not a change in policy but a change in enforcement due to ensuring Mayo has access for our contracted plans not just Medicare which is original Medicare traditional Medicare and those who truly need Mayo medical expertise, uh, Carl Ostrich, a Mayo Clinic spokesman, said in a statement to the Star Tribune, the impact is to non-contract Medicare Advantage plans. Remember, think plans, not brands. Okay, Mayo does not have contracts with these plans, so there should not have been any expectation of access to Mayo Clinic by these plans. Again, it's uh, talking about plans. It says it three times here, not brand, but plans. The impact is to not contract uh, to non-contract Medicare Advantage plans. Mayo does not have contracts with these plans, so there should not have been any expectation to access the Mayo Clinic with these plans. I want to reiterate, it's, it's, uh, think about your plan, not about the brand. Okay. So non-contract Medicare Advantage plans are those in which insurance companies have not negotiated payment rates with Mayo to provide health care services. The clinic are, are considered out of network for enrollees in these plans. Okay. In the past, many with United Healthcare coverage used their out of network benefit to receive treatment from Mayo physicians. A company spokesman said in a statement to the Star Tribune, the insurer says it has been negotiating to bring Mayo in network for, for its Medicare Advantage subscribers. We understand how difficult the situation is for some of our members. United Healthcare said in a statement, we are committed to reaching an agreement to an affordable cost at an affordable cost for the people we serve. Clinic officials said between 2019 and 2021, the, member, the number of uh, Minnesota patients coming to Mayo with coverage from non-contract Medicare Advantage insurers nearly doubled, cresting the 3,200 uh, people last year. And again, they're paying their the insurer has to pay a low uh, is paying a lower rate than when they are contracted, which is typically a higher rate. 
and that's just uh, patients from Minnesota during the two year the same two year period Mayo also saw a 42 percent jump in out-of-state patients coming to Rochester with non-contract Medicare plans for a total last year of more than 7,000 people so at least Half of the growth comes from seniors with United Healthcare coverage, Mayo said. The clinic says that non-contract Medicare Advantage plans usually reimburse the hospital at a lower rate than contracted plans. Mayo is open to entering new contracts, but almost I mean also must keep in mind the impact on capacity to ensure that we can continue to see those patients, regardless of payer, uh, who are in the greatest need of care for Mayo uh, uh, care Mayo provides he said we understand that affected patients may be disappointed and frustrated Lois Breeze says she is very disappointed with Mayo unfortunately you know it's not just Mayo it's uh, it's gonna be her uh, her plan and uh, not sure what to do uh, the 72 year old Minnetonka resident has coverage through United Healthcare Medicare Advantage plan after her doctor suggests suggested in January that Breeze see a specialist at Mayo. She learned from the clinic that she couldn't make an appointment. Now Breeze must decide whether she to seek care from a different in-network specialist or drop the Medicare Advantage plan she, she likes and pick a new one within, within network access to Mayo. I'm in limbo here trying to figure out, Breeze said. Networks are a common feature in health plans, uh, Medicare Advantage plans, often impacting what people pay for medical care, the financial ter terms under which doctors, clinics, hospitals will provide care to health plan members are negotiated between the insurer and health care providers. Patients who use the out-of-network health care providers usually pay, must pay more in copays and deductibles. Typically with Medicare Advantage plans in Minnesota, patients have no problem visiting out-of-network providers. Um, Minnesota uh, seniors have been forced to think more about their network since 2018 when Medicare costs uh, health plans a popular type of coverage with a looser network rules were shut down in most counties. That doesn't, say, that doesn't seem very popular. Uh, since then, insurers have pushed their Medicare Advantage plans. That's correct. They're always going to sh show you uh, Medicare Advantage plans, which tend to have stricter rules rules on patient choice and uh, this statement is comparing it to uh, the original choice which is original Medicare or traditional Medicare where there isn't a network per se um, because providers like the Mayo Clinic um, across the board accept traditional Medicare and if they accept Medicare they accept Medicare supplements but that's a totally different uh, option than Medicare Advantage. Uh, uh, among the state's largest Medicare Advantage insurers, Mayo Clinic is out of network at United Healthcare, Health Partners, Alita Health, Aetna, and as of January, more than 111,000 beneficiaries in Minnesota were enrolled in Medicare health plans from the three companies according to federal data. <coughs> That's a lot of seniors. Uh, seniors are currently in the midst of Medicare Advantage open enrollment. That's correct. Uh, that's January 1st to March 31st. Each and every year is the Medicare Advantage open enrollment. That's uh, what it's talking about to clarify. So those concerned that their plan lacks in-network access to Mayo Clinic can make a change up until March 31st. That's correct, said Kelly uh, Greener. Greener the Medicare program manager at the Minnesota Board of, on Aging. <coughs> Medicare Advantage is a form of health insurance coverage where seniors elect, that's a big word there, elect because it's alternative, and it says that in Medicare and Youth Handbook, elect to receive their government-funded benefits. That's right, the government funds these private insurance companies. They pay them, not, not the actual beneficiary government funded benefits through private managed care companies so that's right they manage your health care cost they, that's what they're known for uh, Mayo is in network for Medicare Advantage plans from Blue Cross Blue Shield of Minnesota Humana Medica and UCARE. care 
uh, but I'll quickly tell you guys uh, the difference there and you'll have to know um, what to do and clarify with your actual plan in the, the next video. Again, look at the pinned comment below or in the description. Uh, Mayo will still see all patients for emergency care. The clinic uh, serves more people with Medicare coverage than any other uh, category of insurance. Ostrich says Mayo is one of the large, the nation's largest providers of health care for Medicare beneficiaries. The primary issue is capacity, not reimbursement. Hushard says in a statement, Mayo simply does not have capacity to serve ever increasing number of patients. Mayo needs to be good stewards with our contracted plans. That's good. Uh, behind the scenes, Mayo might be wary because United Healthcare's growing Medicare Advantage market share in Minnesota could eventually lead to insurer taking a dominant position in the state's market. And much, oh, much uh, as uh, United uh, already has across the, much of the country. Cheryl uh, Nimberg, an economist who specializes in healthcare payment policy at Rand Corporation. As health insurers get bigger, they get more leverage to set payment rates for hospitals and clinics. Ooh. <coughs> so definitely um, maybe a strategic move by a Mayo Clinic. All right, uh, I suspect that Mayo is saying to United, if you want to send patients to us, you have to enter into, into a deal that's going to pay us <coughs> some amount. Uh, and uh, United is balking, so she said. Okay, we're getting into gossip. Uh, United is in a tough spot given expectation of Minnesota residents that they should be able to have, uh, able to access mail. Uh, and then that's it. Star Tribune reporter Mary Jo uh, Webster contributed to this report. Okay, so Chris and okay, so that's it, y'all. Um, that's the article that from Star Tribune. Mayo stops uh, scheduling out of network Medicare Advantage patients in Minnesota. Obviously, tying it in with United Healthcare uh, Medicare Advantage plans. And so, if you want to know more about that and the clarification on that just go to the next video on the pin comment or description below and how you the medicare beneficiary can discern your, your not only just your your uh, your access and your coverage but also um, look into your actual doctors that are either at mayo clinic or your private practice doctors that accept uh, the different insurance plans out there. So make sure to look at that video. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Take care and God bless.